Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today and it's on this look that I'm wearing right here. This is a really quick and simple one shadow drugstore smoky eye. I've had several requests for a smoky eye, a brown smoky eye, and then you guys seem to really like the quick out the door, like one shadow sort of look. So this is kind of encompassing all of those things and it's all drugstore, so even better. So yeah, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes. See, I'm using my Wet n' Wild eyeshadow primer. And now I am gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna use a base. You don't have to do this. This look will still work without a base, but I just like bases. I use them almost every single day, so I'm gonna use it today too. And this is Maybelline's Bad to the Bronze. And honestly, this could kind of be like a two for one tutorial because what you could do is just use this as your shadow. So, and then do the next step that I'm about to show you. So this is another option too, is to just do the cream shadow with something in your crease, which I'm gonna use in a bronzer. And now I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Bronzer, not Light Bronzer. And I'm gonna get some on my Sedona Lace EB15 brush and just run this right into my crease. I do this a lot. Like if I'm doing simple makeup, I will use my bronzer as my transition color all the time. So it's a good kind of like time saver. And my one shadow I'm gonna use today is the L'Oreal Infallible in Bottomless Java. I know sometimes this color can be hard to find, but I believe Walgreens has it, but you could also use really just any kind of a sort of chocolatey brown. This is just a brown smoky eye and you could do a lot of different options. I'm just using a concealer brush from Sigma and I'm just applying this all over my lids and blending up into my crease. And you could even skip the step of using the bronzer in your crease and just blend this color up into your crease. Like I like to use the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. I love using this for smoky eyes because you can get it right next to your lash line, but then you can also blend it up into your crease really well. So for a one shadow look, this is a great brush to use. Go back in with your blending brush if you feel like you need to do a little bit of blending in your crease. We're already on to liners. So first I'm gonna use my Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil in black point. And I'm gonna tight line and smudge this into my upper lash line just using an angled brush. And then I'm gonna use this one on my lower lash line. This is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio. And this is for blue eyes, but any kind of a brown eyeliner will work. I'm gonna go over that liner with some bottomless Java using my Sedona Lace EB21 brush. And now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my CoverGirl The Super Sizer. Okay, so I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, brows and now I definitely need some bronzer because I'm looking pretty ghostly right now. So I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer again and to apply that I'm going to use my Sedona Lace FB05 and my Delium Tools 992 brush. blush I'm going to do a little combo. First I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in Rose Champagne and then I'm going to do just a little dot of Mellow Wine and I'm using my MAC I don't even know because it's all kind of worn off. Looks like 100 but it's probably not 100. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Thank you. 
And even though we're already kind of highlighting since that blush has a little bit of a glow, I'm going to add a little bit more to it. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator Blush and Highlight, and this is in Rose. And I'm using my Delium Tools 944 brush to apply this. I like these. These kind of got like mixed reviews, but I like them. I think they're pretty. And then lastly for lips, good old Tawny. I'm gonna use her again today. And then my Maybelline Daringly Nude. This is one of the creamy mattes. And then over the top of that, I'm gonna use my NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. All right, guys, so that wraps up this look and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please send a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what some of your go-to shadows are for creating these kind of one shadow, easy makeup looks. So if you have certain shadows that you just know they work by themselves, they don't need anything else, I would love to know some of your favorites, especially if they're from the drugstore. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.